We ought to be ashamed. But we're not ashamed. Why? Because of Christ. Because of Christ. Because of Christ. If all I did for the next hour was just to say his name, it would be enough. It would be more than enough because of Christ. Everything is Christ. Everything else is black and twisted and dark and useless and feeble and stupid. Only Christ. He's not just all we need. He's all we have. We have nothing else but Christ. Why? Isaiah 53 bore our sin and our shame before God. All the shame, not just wrath, but all the shame that you should bear and I should bear throughout all of eternity, He bore in our place. Listen to what Spurgeon says about Him. What Christ suffered by way of shame, we must remember, is a picture of what we, have, we would have suffered forever if he had not become our substitute. Oh, my soul, when you see our Lord mocked, remember that shame and everlasting contempt must otherwise have been forever and ever your portion. And think, my soul, this had been your portion, but your master bore it for you. And now you shall never be ashamed because your master was ashamed for you. You shall not be confounded, neither shall you be put to shame. For he was taken, he has taken away your reproach and borne it on his own visage. And as for your rebuke, the rebuke that belongs to you from God, it has entered into his own heart and he has taken it away forever. It shall never be brought to your remembrance. Jesus Christ shed his blood for sinners. This is not a competition in the ministry to see who gets in the inner circle in heaven. If you're in Christ, he is the inner circle. He is the inner circle. A parallel passage, 1 Corinthians 15, 56, 57. The sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory, once again, through our Lord Jesus Christ. The only thing you and I ever contributed to our salvation was our sin. He did it all. He's the captain of our salvation. So let us trust in Christ alone and not be ashamed. But also let us live for Christ above all others and not be ashamed. Is it not a shameful thing to live for anyone or anything other than Christ? To set any person as his equal, any activity as his equal. My love goes up, my love goes down. But the love of Christ for me is constant. It is constant. Do you see that? You see, this this is what it's all about. I am known throughout the world as someone who preaches on sin, who preaches hard, who preaches righteousness. One time a reporter came up to me, he was so furious, he goes, why do you keep talking about sin? I said, because I want you to see the love of Christ. And this is the only way. This is the dark tunnel through which you must pass to truly understand. I have read the scriptures. I know something of what I am. And in light of that dark cloud, peering over it and above it, through it and around it, is the love of Christ. The greatest service you can do for your church, the greatest service you could possibly ever do for your congregation is teach them how much God loves them in Christ. That's what strengthens us. Oh, the power of the love of God. It will make the weakest man be willing to walk through the most hellish land preaching the gospel with a near certain death sentence on his head.
That's all you need. How do I live in this world and not be ashamed? Think of the love of Christ for you.